I really like the Baltimore Ravens to score a lot of points this weekend against Tennessee, and that starts with Marquise Brown, who's $6,300 on this slate. After a really slow start to the season where Brown's peripheral numbers didn't really match his production, they finally started matching his production. He finished the year top 20 in air yards, and he's averaged almost a 35% target share per game over his last six contests. The Ravens have the second highest implied team total this weekend, and it's the highest on this Sunday slate. And it's because they're facing arguably the worst defense in the playoffs, which is Tennessee. So I want pieces of this Ravens offense, and an obvious place to start is with Marquise Hollywood Brown. And then you could also go to J.K. Dobbins, who's $6,800. The Ravens really started to lean on Dobbins down the stretch. He saw over half the team's running back rushes across his final nine games, including 11 or more carries in all but one of those contests. Now, there is some downside with his receiving because the Ravens don't utilize their running backs that much out of the backfield. And they're also a pretty run-first team. But like I said with Marquise Brown, the Ravens have a high implied team total. This game in general could be high scoring. And Tennessee gave up the sixth most adjusted fantasy points to running backs during the regular season. So I like J.K. Dobbins. And then finally, Allen Robinson. He didn't have a strong outing last week against Green Bay. But that's also one of the tougher matchups in the league for a top wide receiver. This week, Chicago's a big underdog. Because of that, they should be throwing the ball more than usual. That means more volume. And Allen Robinson has seen over 25% of Chicago's targets this season. So I think Robinson should see a lot of volume in this matchup, making him a good play at $7,200.